landmark messages. And next year I might get to go to camp for two whole weeks, because that's my favorite thing to do. Good, Lily. Daniel? of The Locket. And after these messages from CBS and your local station. CBS Friday. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Everyone's favorite, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer returns. Then, meet the new reindeer in town, Robbie. In two fun-filled adventures starring the voices of Ben Stiller. I have got it. Britney Spears. Leah Remini. Robbie, let's not beat around the bush. You love me. Brad Garrett. Let's get to work. Jerry Stiller. Hiya! And many more. And CBS Saturday, enjoy a full hour of family entertainment with Frosty the Snowman. The fun is all here on CBS. He was America's greatest toy maker. It's called an erector set. It's not just one toy, it's a hundred toys. Until the nation at war asked the unthinkable. Buy bonds, not toys. Canceling Christmas? You can help sell the idea to children. Now, he can't stop the war, but he won't let the war stop Christmas. Toys make better children. If you cancel Christmas, you are canceling hope. Inspired by actual events, 
Jason Alexander is the man who saved Christmas. CBS next Sunday. Tonight on the Channel 3 News. Vermont Republicans rally at the Capitol. Find out how they plan to keep control of the House. Also, all eyes are on Iraq's detailed report of its weaponry. But is it accurate? Plus, these folks are bagging lunches in case there's a blizzard. We'll explain. And it looks like your average Christmas tree, but find out why they call it a memory tree. Those stories and more on the Channel 3 News at 11. Nope. Not that one. No, 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 okay. Yep, maybe. Yep. Yep. You've got way too much to do during the holidays, so here's something simple. Stop by Cellular One and share 5,000 minutes for $49.95 and get two Nokia phones for just two cents. It's simple, and it's only from Cellular One. Yes. No. Cellular One. Part of life here. Exceptional value made Toyota Camry the best-selling car in America for four consecutive years. With only days left to reclaim the title, we'll do what it takes to be number one. So we're offering a special low payment lease on 2003 Camry LE. Just $209 a month for 39 months with only $19.90 due at signing. Or choose special 0% APR financing on all new 2003 Camry sedans. That could save you thousands. Get your best Camry deal now. See your New England Toyota dealer today. You want big value? Here's a big idea. The big and tasty. Just a buck on McDonald's dollar menu. A juicy quarter pound burger with lettuce, tomato, and all the trimmings. Try finding a burger like that on any other value menu. The dollar menu also gives you what you really want. America's favorite fries, sweet treats, and lots more. For your tastes, your appetite, your dollar. It's your biggest value. McDonald's dollar menu. WCAX.com. Get Vermont's most in-depth local and national news coverage 24 hours a day. Experience you can trust. Log on to Vermont's own Channel 3 News. Sponsored by Bucks Furniture on WCAX.com. A bald eagle is shot in northern Vermont. The story at 11. Tuesday on CBS. It's all here. Now back to The Locket. Starring Vanessa Redgrave. Tonight's Hallmark Hall of Fame. The Hallmark Hall of Fame will return in a moment after these messages from Hallmark. At our house, we have a tradition we started with our first daughter. Each year, we let the girls pick out a new Christmas ornament of their very own. They just can't wait to see them up on the tree. It's really a big deal to them because it's their ornament, and they always remember which ones are theirs. Last night after the kids had gone to bed, I looked at the tree, and I could just see all the memories. I really wanted to preserve that forever. And then I realized that we had. This Christmas, find the Hallmark keepsake ornaments that help you capture your memories.
to do what you did. And that's what made it so special. Max, do you know what this means? Kind of. It means you should be very proud of yourself. Turn to Vanessa Redgrave in The Locket on the Hallmark Hall of Fame of The Locket, this evening's Hallmark Hall of Fame. You like your party? Oh, great party. Thanks, son. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. You okay? Yeah. I'll remember you you remember me We both know how good remembering can be It's about that connection between me and you Hey Duke, listen to this First guy to ever love me First guy I ever gave my heart to Happy birthday, Dad presentation on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation. Join us again in February for Brush with Fate, starring Ellen Burstyn, Glenn Close, and Thomas Gibson. February 2nd on CBS. You can get generations. It has changed the fate of all who have possessed it, whether bought in passion, sold in desperation, or stolen in greed. Tonight, the Hallmark Hall of Fame invites you to join Glenn Close, Ellen Burstyn, and Thomas Gibson in solving a centuries-old mystery, Brush with Fate. The Hallmark Hall of Fame is brought to you by Hallmark Cards of Kansas City and the fine stores in your...
was looking to read yesterday's news, guys. Aren't you eating with us? Can't. I have to get to school early. Why? I'll have to talk to the principal about a student. What do you do? You catch him cheating? <laughs> cheating is the least of his problems. Drink your juice. Isn't mom coming down today? I can't say what she'll do. Ella? You want coffee? Will you help me later? I'd like to do it this evening. feel better, Mom. Did you have to say that? <sighs> All right, Mrs. Leslie, I get it. Let me see if I can have him get right back to you. He sure will. You betcha. Bye now. Save me. What? What was that about? Angry mother. She saw the school play last night, and she's all been out of shape over Lindy Rayburn singing in public wearing what looks like a black slip. Oh, maybe I should go see this play. See, Free, I have an appointment. Judy, can I borrow your copy machine? Oh, it's all yours. What's wrong? You look kind of stuck in the spin cycle. Your boys okay? They're fine. Ella? She's fine. He's wrapping it up. Look, 
If he wants to reschedule. No, 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 no. Thank you. I see here that you're failing Russell Beckman for a semester. <laughs> Tom, everybody knows Mr. Beckman isn't any kind of student. I mean, unless he gets struck by lightning, he never will be, but he's got to have history to graduate. Well, maybe he won't. Now, Tom, right there, we got a problem. Go a little easy on this kid, would you? Well, you want him back here next year? <laughs> I, I don't want him here this year, but somebody better tell him that he better do the work. You do me a favor, Tom. You scare the boy. But don't fail him. Vicky, you're here early. Everything okay? I don't 
really want to say. I mean, he doesn't want it. Well, he at least ought to take some responsibility. Does this boy live here in town? Is he in your class? You don't know him, Miss Jonas. We met last summer, and we went out for a while. And at first, I thought that... I don't know what I thought. But he seemed nice. Why don't we finish talking tomorrow? Are you sure it's okay for me to stay? Yeah. It's fine. Well, for now. My father lives here, too. And I'm not sure he'll understand this. two boys want? Collecting for the paper. It's two dollars and fifty cents. Is that so? Well, I don't think I'm gonna pay you. So what do you think of that? Who cuts your hair these days? Our mother. Thought your mother moved out. I heard she moved into that rental house over on 3rd Street last week. Just give them the money, Harvey. I'm making a point. See? I get my papers from you. You get your hair cut by me. It's called commerce. Well, what do you say when a man pays his bill? Thank you. Maybe you need to remind your mom that I went to school for this. It's not a hobby. <laughs> why does he always get this silly old dog bone and probably flunked barber school? That's why. Listen, you're gonna let me do all the talking on this one, you hear? Who is it? We're collecting for the paper, ma'am. Oh. You might as well come in. Don't touch anything. Sit, sit over there. We can't stay, ma'am. Oh, hush. You got a whole lifetime ahead of you. Sit. Fifty cents. That is not talk. That is business. What are you learning in school? You both go to school, don't you? Why don't you speak? Hmm? What's your name? Bobby. Bobby. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Keen. Keen. Yeah, Keen. Big, tall woman with a long jaw. Is she a good teacher? Yeah, but. One time she told a girl to shut up. Did she? What for? She didn't want to sit next to Ricky Peterson. Said he smelled like a cow pie. He probably does. His folks own a dairy, don't they? <coughs> what about you? Who's your teacher? Miss Carpenter. I don't know her. She's got long blonde hair and she always wears sweaters. What do you know about sweaters? You're too young to be thinking about women in sweaters. <coughs> Don't you two boys ever smoke. You hear me? But you do. That's why I'm telling you. You don't want to end up like me, do you? An old woman. Living by herself above a barber shop. I'll never be an old woman. Lucky you. Hand me my handbag, will you? Thank you. <laughs> what happened to your family? I'm all that's left of it. Our mother died. 
doesn't live with us anymore. Shut up, Bobby. That's nobody's business. That's all right. I'm not going to tell nobody. Who could I tell anyway? Prince hmm? Jonas, isn't there a woman doctor I could go to? Not here, honey. Not in this town. Well, maybe we could go to another town. Victoria, sweetie, listen to me. You're here now. This is where you are. See if she's got a calf. Are we gonna have to do that? Yep. Come on. I promise to help these guys. Let's go. I see you brought a whole team. <laughs> well, they wanted to come. Ike, Bobby, come over here. This is Harold McFerrin. That there's his brother Raymond. these workers going to set us back? <laughs> well, I don't know what they'll charge. You'll just have to ask them. Come on, boys. You boys go in there. You want to keep an eye out on that big red one. Why? What's wrong with her? Nothing. It looks like she already chewed off her own tail, and she'd be happy to start on yours. seem strong. Do you want to keep this baby, Victoria? Have you thought about what it'll mean having this kind of responsibility at your age? I do. I want it. Necessary. Stay out of this. You boys did a fine job. You come back again any time. Here. Dad? Yeah? You gave us $10 each. You think we should give it back? No. I think that'd be an insult. I'm guessing they enjoyed having you here. Do they live out here all alone? They do. How come? They always have. They lost their folks when they were pretty young. Why didn't they ever get married and have a family like everyone else? I don't know. People don't sometimes. Maybe they didn't want to leave each other. <laughs> Maybe so. tribes were
were taken from their lands in the east. When the Cherokees were asked to move, they went to the Supreme Court and asked for help. But President Andrews didn't care what the court said. President Andrew Jackson. Go on. Um, <clears throat> President Andrew Jackson didn't care what the court said, so the Cherokees had to move to Tennessee. I'm done. Do you have anything about the Black Hawk War, the Seminoles' reaction? I wrote two pages. Congratulations. Sit down. Can somebody tell me why President Andrew Jackson felt that the Bank of U.S. only benefited the rich and powerful? Who did I ask to research that question? Victoria. Victoria? Wasn't it you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, enough of that. The bank crisis of 1819. All right, Victoria, can you start again and speak in a loud and clear voice? <laughs> What just happened? What did you say, Russell? <clears throat> I, uh, I didn't say nothing. Charlene, go see what's wrong. Mr. Beckman! In the hall, now. Look, I didn't say nothing, okay? You said something. In the hall. You're already in serious trouble. And, and if you think I'm gonna pass you... Pass me if I care. Oh, you will, Buster. You will. No, I won't. You don't know a thing about me, so why don't you get out of my face? <laughs> Wait, hold it. She's not in the bathroom, Mr. Guthrie. I looked every... You're bleeding. Tom, he's bleeding. Tom, are you okay? Okay. Does he ask about me? We talk about you. What do you say? We say we miss you. We wonder how you are. 
when do you think you'll be coming home? I can't say about that. He mustn't rush me. I need time. We brought you something. What are those? They're for you. Open them. in the tub. Those are from me. The perfume's from Better Ed. open it first. <sighs> if you don't like them, we can return them. says it all. But thank you. You have a hard time letting anyone help you out, don't you, Mr. Guthrie? Look, I may be stepping out of bounds here. It's really none of my business, but when my marriage fell apart, I didn't have a whole lot of people to talk to. Well, a lot of folks around here were offering to help, but all they really wanted to do was take sides. I just needed someone to listen. Mr. Jackson. Remember? Good night. Who said you could just come in here? You get out or I'll call the police. Mr. Jackson, your daughter invited me here. That's a filthy lie. You're a thief. <laughs> You've no business in here. You hear me? Yeah. You get out of Dad, here. Dad, what are you doing? She wants my bank key. Dad, That's what she wants. Calm down. This is Victoria. I can't take much more of this. Dad, it's okay. Jonas, I think I have to go somewhere else. And he doesn't like me. Oh, it's not you. He doesn't know you. He scares me. Down there, Miss Jonas. Are you lost? 
hope not. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, I don't want to put you in any trouble. It's no trouble. I'm not making it fresh. How's your father? Oh, same. Oh, a little worse. But I didn't come out here to talk about that. I'm here to ask you a favor. There's a girl I know. She's in trouble, and you might be able to help her. What's wrong with her? She need money? Uh, she needs a whole lot more than that. She's 17 and four months pregnant. Don't she have any family? Her uh, mom threw her out. What about the sire? Evidently, he wants nothing to do with her. Or the baby. All right, then. You got our attention. If you don't want money, what do you want? I want you to think about taking this girl in. Letting her live with you. Money would be a whole lot easier. <laughs> I got it. I think I lost it. Okay, don't take mine. Mine are here. Okay. I got some more. Oh, yeah, I got some more. You're early. I wasn't sure if they'd want to spend the night. They do. with you tomorrow morning but seeing as you're you're here now what 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 oh, i was hoping you weren't going to be that way what <sighs> what way i didn't want it to be like this not not this time why don't you just tell me what's on your mind i've decided to go to denver for a while and stay with my sister. When are you planning to leave? In the morning. And what about the boys? I've been thinking about that. And I think you should just keep them. Oh, as opposed to what I've already been doing. I know that you already take care of them yourself. I can't do anything else right now. But I want them to come and see me. When I get settled in. After a while. Have you told them? I thought I'd tell them in the morning. Don't wait. They can handle it. I know what I think. What about you? I say... We take her in. What are you talking about? Look at us, living out here, setting our ways. How are you gonna change at this age of life? Can't say that. I'm going to. You ever had a girl live with you before? No, I haven't. Well, me neither. But let me tell you, the girl is different. They want things. The girl's got ideas in her head that you and me can't even imagine. And what do you know about babies? Nothing. But I've got time to learn. Now, look, are you going to go in with me on this thing or not? Because I'm, I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Right, because I want to. But I'll make up my mind to it. But I'll tell you one more thing. What's that? You're getting stubborn and hard to live with. Oh, that'll be your bus stop. There's a few kids. 
Woods at Granite High who live out here. I can't do that. What was that, hon? I don't even know these people. I've known these men all my life. You don't need to be afraid. They may be a little gruff and a little rusty when it comes to people, but it's only because they've been alone for so long. Vicky, look at me. You'll be safe out here. Step into the parlor. This room is used mostly for reading, but you can use it any way you see fit. Would you like to see your bedroom? I would. around there still has some clothes in it. They belong to our parents. Of course, you can change anything around that you want to. We don't come in here. Our bedrooms is upstairs. If you want to take a bath, uh, it's in that, through that door just under the stairs there. There's a, a brand new towel in it too. It's never been used. You like pink? She don't say much. You think she's scared of us? Well, if I didn't know you, I'd be hiding under that bed. You've already convicted him without a trial. This is back when your son intimidated a student and assaulted a teacher. Our Russell never said nothing to that half-breed tramp. That's enough. Why don't you tell him like you told us? Tell, tell him what really happened. Or I never hit him. See? He grabbed my arm, I pulled away, and he fell under the lock. More than grabbed him. My boy had bruises on his arm. I just want to ask one question. Is he playing basketball this weekend or not? No. He will not. All right, let's go. I'm not forgetting this. Plain song will resume on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Do you want to tell me about that? Well, I'd like to see him slow down. You know? All right. Let's smell the roses. <laughs> Saying. You're 
And she don't like my cooking? I wouldn't know. Somebody who doesn't like my cooking. Harold, ought to speak up. I ain't running no restaurant. Maybe tomorrow I'll do something with a chicken. I thought I was paid up for the month. You are. What are you doing here? Oh, I see. You came at a good time. I'm just about to start my baking. You can help me out. <coughs> Downstairs to get a box of brown sugar. Take that cup with a change in it and that key that's hanging there from that hook. What's it go to? Front door. You might as well hold on to it. I can't be jumping up and down all day answering doors. Mm, yeah. My mother moved to Denver. We'll be visiting her tomorrow. I guess you're looking forward to that, huh? Crowder expects you to attend that board meeting on the 17th. The Beckmans will be there. And FYI, I am having a garage sale this weekend. My daughter's off to Fort Collins visiting her grandma. Finally have the house to myself. Maybe I could talk you into coming over for a home-cooked meal. You free on Saturday? Saturday, I'm driving the boys to Denver to uh, stay with their mother. Then you're free Saturday night. Judy, I'm still married. So what? That mean you gotta eat alone for the rest of your life? There you go. Next.
wondering what you, you thought of the market. We saw that soybeans was down a point today, but live cattle are holding steady. What about the pork bellies? What? The pork bellies. You forgot to mention the pork bellies. Anyway, we wondered what you thought. You know, buy or sell. Oh, I, I really don't know much about that. Um, but maybe you could explain it to me. If you want to.
You shouldn't be doing this. Why? What's the matter? We're just having a little fun. We thought you were, too. Yeah. But it's too expensive. Why are you doing this? Here, here. It's clean. You can keep it. compete for you, Guthrie. I'll not get into any kind of contest. I won't play that game. this year. And there's my present. Still baking, huh? What are you doing here, Dwayne? Can we, uh, talk in the car? You shouldn't be standing out here in the cold. Please?
some boy's car. What do you think? You're home. some dinner. Well, I spoke to Janine at the diner. And? And I'm almost certain that was the baby's father. Maggie, did we do something that drove her away? Oh, no. No. I don't think so. Uh, thanks. Goodbye. child's committed three infractions, he loses that privilege. I understand. But I think your bus drivers need to learn to count to three. <laughs> Is there anything anybody would like to add to that this evening? Yeah. What do you plan on doing about him? Mrs. Beckman? How's my son supposed to graduate when he's got that for a teacher? I can assure you we're doing our best to make sure your son graduates. If you make my boy miss his tournament, that is going to cost him a scholarship. Excuse me. Russell Beckman? has not completed a single assignment, nor has he passed a single test the entire semester. If he's failing, it's because you have done nothing but pick on him since I don't pick on anyone. I've been a teacher for 15 years at this school, and I can't even remember the last time I had to fail a student. I will not take the fall for a student who's been raised on a steady diet of ignorance and cruelty to others. Did you hear what he said about you me? Keep talking, mister. You'll be defending yourself in a court of law. All right. Tom? That was quite a speech you gave. Lloyd, I never intended to make a speech. Oh, but you did. Now it's my turn. When that Beckman kid comes back in your class, you're going to pass him. Now I want him out of here and graduated. You hear me? Have a good night, Tom. How'd it go? He wants me to start tomorrow. Excellent. You make it by this? You didn't make me. I wanted it. Why? You live here now. Maybe I want to send it to somebody. Who, those old men? <laughs> Can you just turn on the heat, please? something if you don't have no address.
they're even going to take me back? I don't know. You'll have to ask them. I'm afraid of what they're going to say. Well, they're not going to say anything if you just sit in the car. Go on. You were good to me. I won't be bothering you again. We can't have you leaving like that again. It's got to be understood. You better come in. It's cold out here. presentation of playing song will continue after these messages from Hallmark. We're not moving. I don't think that's going to work. Hello? Sorry, we'll have you out in a second. Whoa. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, just a little surprised. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday. Hey. Happy birthday. Is it from a friend? Yeah, Bonnie Dolan. She used to be my best friend. What do you mean, used to be? Yeah, what happened? You really want to know, huh? Sure. I'm not going anywhere. She had a career. I had a baby. We rode for a while, but it was my turn. and Broke the chain, huh? Yeah. We had a friend like that. We worked together straight out of college, and we completely lost touch. That's like an old neighbor, Gloria DeLuca. I wonder where she is today. I don't have any friends. Uh, now you're kidding, right? Yeah. Doug Porter, college roommate, played ball together. He was right in town. Never see him. Well, read it. Come on, Mom. Come on. Get the card. Read it. There's no secrets here. OK. There is common ground that kindred spirits walk. Shared thoughts that forever bind their souls. You and I are friends for all time. It's been way too long. Happy birthday. Love, Bonnie. That's beautiful. Read it again. You folks okay? Uh, could you give us a minute, please? Uh, yeah, sh sure. Read that part again. There is common ground that kindred spirits walk. Shared thoughts that forever bind their souls. Davis, please report to the principal's office. Lauren Davis, please report to the principal's office.
Miss Reed, I, I didn't do nothing. Anything, Laura. Whatever. I, I didn't do it. I've been playing it straight since the last time I got in trouble, I swear. Laura. I haven't been teaching class. I'm not hanging out with those guys no more. I even went to see that council lady you told me about. I know. The only reason I asked you to come down here is because yesterday... Yesterday I had to watch my sister while my grandma went to the doctor and I already told Mr. Ball and I already gave him a note. And now he's getting me all in trouble with you again. See, even when I try to do right by you, it just... It all gets messed up. Nothing is messed up, Laura. The reason I asked you to come down here is... Here. This is it? Mm-hmm. Tonight's Hallmark Hall of Fame continues with Plain Song, starring Aidan Quinn and Rachel Griffiths.
Is your father with you? No, sir. You boys ride that poor horse out here all by yourself. Are you lost? No, sir.
first child. It's very common to have a long labor. There's no good reason for you to be here. I can call you. No, thank you. We're not moving from here until that baby is born good and healthy and that girl in there is okay. check on those boys and it's almost time to feed I said what I'll be back Sure, sure. I got a shirt. I got a shirt. I got a shirt. 
of playing song this evening's presentation on the hallmark hall of fame we're headed to rossi's you want to go oh i can't tonight i'm going to my brother's yeah yeah he just moved out of our parents house is that right well, i remember the day i moved out how old is he 34 34 yeah well we'll see you tomorrow then see ya
were, Cooper. Thank you. So, Hooper, what did you grow up to be? Investment banker, internet guru? No. I'm a teacher. And now, the conclusion of Plain Song. Tonight's presentation on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. talking here. Guthrie? 
Your son heard my boys last night. I intend to talk to him about it. What are you talking about? You tell him to come on out here. Go get him. He's sleeping. Well, get him up. Tell him in front of us what this is all about. What do you say happened? You finally went too far, didn't you? You've hurt my two boys now. You and that Murphy kid took them out in the country and scared them? And then you thought it would be smart if you took their pants off and left them out there to walk home? Russell, you know anything about this? No, I, I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, I don't even know his kids, Dad. Yeah, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I wouldn't know his kids if they were standing right in front of me. Right, get this guy out of here. You, you leave my life. Let go of him! My boy's alone. Let let you got no problem with me! Let let you come to me! Let let you see me about it! Let him! Let him. attack my boy. He's come right to the house with some dirty, rotten lie about my boy and, and his kids. Is that right, Tom? Is that what happened? Don't you ever touch them again, you stinking, rotten coward. I will do whatever I want to your snot-nosed little punks. Russell? No, no, he's trying to act like he's daddy of the year right now, so what are your kids doing on the highway at four in the morning? See her if you like. Uh, Victoria? Yes. Victoria's okay? She's tired, but she's doing fine. Don't you want to know about the baby? What is it? It's a girl.
he was a rising star until someone cut
Iroquois National Wildlife Refuge is a great place to visit for nature lovers of all stripes. In terms of duck hunting, it offers something for everyone, from lakeshore areas that are open to blind building and general hunting, to controlled hunting areas where waterfowlers can hunt at a more relaxed pace and style. As you get older, I guess, you learn to appreciate what's out there, and, uh, and it's fun to just uh, see if you can pick out and ID the right bird and, and uh, take that bird. That's it up, Bob. I'm not really looking for a limit. I, I try to look for just uh, now the greenheads if I can, the drake mallards, and and uh, also watch the dogwood. That's one thing in, in marshes. Your your best memories are the ones are the, some of the retrieves that the dogs make, and that's what's what's fun. Thank you very much. Good girl. <laughs>